Hello everybody, welcome family. My name is Ayanda and I am from Incense Haven. As I mentioned in my previous video, uh, that I would uh, make a new video um, and talk about the triple nine products. I have them here with me. I have the triple nine um, incense. I have the triple nine incense. I have the triple nine oil. And I have the um, triple nine perfume. Okay, um, all these products are available on our uh, e-store. The link is in the description. Um, and today I'm going to be giving you tips as usual on how to use these products um, for effective results. Okay, before we speak about how to use the products, uh, I thought that maybe I would uh, touch on the numerological meaning of the number nine or the number is 999. So if you uh, are seeing um, the number nine, maybe you look down at your watch and it's always nine minutes past nine or it's nine o'clock or you see the numbers 999 um, or anywhere. Okay, so that is um, spirit and that is the universe speaking to you, giving you a message that your life um, is transitioning now into a new chapter into a new phase so this is this um, symbolizes the end of a current situation the end of the current chapter that you're in in your life and it's the beginning of um, something new so you need to prepare yourself um mentally you need to prepare yourself emotionally uh, sometimes you need to prepare yourself um, physically in some situations. You need to prepare, prepare physically as well for the new um, chapter. Um, and it's also a time for you to reflect and to take lessons um, out um, of the experiences that you've been through. And um, it's also a time to focus on yourself, your mental and your emotional healing as well as your physical well-being okay so you can use these products to aid you in your fresh starts now when you start over or when you prepare you can use these products to aid you okay i will talk firstly about the incense so this um 99 incense first of all the scent is one of my favorites like I really love the the smell of this um, burn this incense for nine consecutive days after sunset I'm not gonna give you a specific time to say burn it at this time because we live in different countries um, if I say to you burn it at 7 p.m. you'll find that in certain um, areas there's still sunlight at 7 so whenever your sunset is so burn it or to make things easy burn it before you go to bed and while you're doing your prayers so you need to burn this for a minimum of nine consecutive days now this is not to say that it's wrong or it's incorrect to burn this incense um while the sun is up it's perfectly fine um personally I burn this incense every day. As soon as I open um, our shop, I'll burn this incense every day. So if you um, have a business, you can burn this incense every day to call customers into your business when you're burning it. Walk around your shop a little bit so that the smoke covers um, as much of the shop as possible uh, or as much of the space that you work in as, as possible while you just speak quickly um, in your heart. You can even speak in your heart if there are people around you and call customers to your business. Okay, so I do burn this every day. So I burn this twice a day. I burn it at work and then I'll burn it at home um, in, in the evenings before I go to before I go to bed okay so it's also for um, good fortune is like I said to attract customers all these products you can use them to attract um, customers to your business you can use them to attract money you can use them for luck to attract and to attract success okay and then uh, the the the, the triple nine uh, oil, okay, this you're going to use for anointing, can anoint it on your candles, okay, what 
color candles can you use? You can use a gold candle, you can use a green candle, you can use a white candle. Now a gold candle is for um, wealth, is for prosperity, is for um, uh, success. And then you use a green candle is for money drawing calling money and then a white candle is for purity it's for breakthrough it's for clarity uh, mental emotional uh, clarity as well and it's for uh, if you want to cleanse your your space okay so how are you going to use the oil on the candles you are going to dress your candles with the oil how do you dress a candle with an anointing oil you need to pour a few drops of the oil on your dominant hand okay and then you you rub your 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 hand that has oil you rub it on the candle to cover as much of the candle as possible okay and then you Put the candle on a stand or wherever you're going to burn it from set it uh, properly and then you light the candle it's important to dress it with your dominant hand the hand that you receive money with okay and then um, you light it when the lights when the candles are lit rather you're going to uh, then anoint yourself before you pray you're going to anoint yourself how are you going to anoint yourself? You are going to take a bit of the oil, again using your dominant hand. You are going to rub the oil on the crown of your head. So that's either make a cross or just rub on the crown of your head, rub on your chest, rub it on your palms or rub your palms together. So you can make a cross on your palms, in the inside of your palms or rub your palms together and then also anoint underneath your feet. Make a cross underneath your feet or underneath your feet, I beg your pardon, or rub underneath your feet. Okay. Then you're going to go on your knees in front of your candles and you're going to pray. If you can't pray or you don't pray, you can speak and ask spirit um, for their divine intervention. Um, uh, pray or speak on what you want to manifest over your life okay if you know that um, you are going through a transition then ask for clarity okay ask for wisdom if you are in business or um, in a career you want growth ask for that ask for what you want okay the um, perfume perfume you both okay i beg your pardon here with the oil you're going to also um do this for nine days okay so once you're done praying um with your candles you're not going to blow your that's an important point i almost forgot you're not going to blow the candle out okay you when you blow a spiritual candle like any a, a, a spiritual candle is a candle that you've prayed over if you're using a candle for prayer that's now a spiritual candle so um you do not blow the candle out. When you blow it, you're blowing away everything that you've said or that you've asked for. You snub it off with your fingers, okay? Or if you have the luxury of a candle snubber, you can use your candle snubber to put the candle off, but do not blow your candle off, please. Okay, and then you leave the candles there. The following day, you do it again. So you're also going to use your oil, for nine a minimum of nine consecutive days and then you can also add a bit of the oil to your your lotion or your cream that you use on your body daily so if let's say your cream is in a tub then you can pour a bit of the oil into the tub and then you mix it with your dominant hand mix it with your dominant hand okay while you pray or speak and then you can just be using it daily if your lotion is in a container maybe like these lotion containers like this then you add a bit of the perfume and then ugh, the oil and then you shake it when you shake you're speaking and you, or you're praying all right then you're using the lotion daily the um, perfume 
How are you going to use this perfume? Add it to your bath water, similar to all perfumes they use for bathing. So you're going to add a cap of this perfume to your bath water for a minimum of nine consecutive days. A minimum. So you can go above nine days, but do not go less than nine days. A minimum of nine consecutive days you are going to use this. Also for ladies, when you're on your monthly cycle, you do not bath with spiritual products. So you cannot bath with this while you are on your monthly cycle. Okay, so nine consecutive days in your bath water. You can also add it to a spritz bottle and you can smudge smudge yourself with it um before you leave the house okay you can also smudge your, your place of work or any items that you use at work you can smudge them um with with the perfume uh, as well okay now you can use um all three or you can use two out of the three or one of them the preference is yours okay so you find people who use all three of them i burn I, uh, I bath, I beg your pardon, I bath. After bathing, I anoint my candles and pray while I burn the, the incense. Also, you'll find some people are attracted to the incense more than the perfume. Remember that we also have different elements. So uh, me, who is a water element, would... Uh, probably prefer using the perfume because then there's water involved and um, people of water elements will always um, feel more at home in water so they prefer to bath with it and there's people who are um, fire element they'll prefer to burn and um, they connect better with spirit when there's something burning and um, and then there's people who are air element uh, they want to um, pray uh, also um, fire element will probably um, enjoy this as well or connect rather with this because um, of the candles the fire burning in the candles but then the the air elements as well people who want to pray who pray a lot so this could also work well so the preference in terms of which one to use is totally up to you you can use either one or all of them okay um i hope I think I've covered um, everything, but if there's anything that you're not clear on, you can just um, drop it in the comment section, drop a question in the comment section. I'll do well to respond to you. Or you can drop us a, or drop me rather a WhatsApp on the numbers that are on the de description bar. Um, the link to our e-store is also in the description bar. Please like our video. Please subscribe to our channel. Please hit the bell to get notifications when we upload new videos um, please also follow us on other social media platforms um, where we are on tiktok on instagram on facebook um, thank you so much for all your support guys and i wish you all the best and i'll see you guys again very very soon thank you